Well, the first day of this year's Texas South Plains Honor Flight is wrapping up. Area veterans are on a three day all expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. and have already made some stops to see what's been dedicated to their service and their sacrifice. KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks and Christy Harden join us from the Air Force Memorial, the final stop of today. Hey, good evening, Josh. Uh, the end of day one, we're wrapping up here at the Air Force Memorial. And um, of course, what an amazing view mm -hmm. of a city we have now come into and have hit the, gr hit the ground running, starting at the World War II Memorial today with some wreath lane ceremonies, and then on to the Navy Memorial, and now to the Air Force Memorial. And what a treat it has been here at the Air Force Memorial. It was almost like the whole wreath laying here was going to be a disaster. We pulled up and this whole area is actually under construction, major renovation here. If you can see behind us, you can see all of the um, plastic netting and so forth. This is actually going to be an extension of the Arlington Cemetery. And so this memorial is is under renovation as well, part of the back area. And they're also doing some beautification with some lighting. So when we arrived, we see this huge uh, metal fence around the memorial, which is usually where we lay the wreath here. But then we got a surprise that no one could have planned. No one could have written what just happened. No, uh, Chief Master Sergeant Joanne Bass of the United States Air Force was here. The highest ranking official other than the Chief of Staff, was, which is General Charles Q. Brown, who went to Texas Tech, so there's that connection. But to have her here, she was just here visiting the memorial. She said she comes here from the Pentagon to decompress, and she has spent so much time with our veterans this evening, taking pictures, watching the wreath lane. It's been a great evening. What an an experience and what a moment that especially our Air Force veterans will absolutely take home with a, a, a memory and our uh, military liaison who's part of the South Plains Honor Flight with us this year is a member of the Air Forces in the Air Force. So what a special treat to be able to have this moment today and, and wrap up day one. It's been an incredible day. We've heard so many stories already, shed some tears, but have also celebrated and honored these veterans. So join us tonight at 10. We'll have a wrap up of the day, hear from some of those veterans, and we hope to see you again throughout the weekend and tomorrow morning. Josh, we'll send it back to you. Thank you, Casey and Christy. Well, here in about an hour, the Sounds of West Texas will present its annual tribute show to benefit that South Plains Honor Flight. Some of Lubbock's top musicians like Billy Don Hampton and Larry Allen will perform a mix of top hits and patriotic songs. Doors to the Cactus Theater open at 615 and the show starts at 7 and there will be a silent auction and door prizes. Tickets are $20 at the door for floor and balcony seats. All the proceeds help pay for those area veterans trip to DC and the memorials honoring them.